Officer Weaver. And I'm Captain Nunez. Our job is to help keep you safe and to respond to problems like accidents and fires when someone calls 911. Sometimes you'll see us with our lights and sirens on going to help someone. When that happens, we're always thinking about safety. Safety for us and for everyone else, both on the way there and when we arrive. And when storms, fires, or accidents happen and electricity is involved, it can create very serious safety problems for first responders like us, making dangerous situations even more dangerous. That's why we rely on Encore as important partners when we're at emergency scenes like car wrecks, fires, or when power lines are down after big storms. Encore employees are highly trained to know about safety around power lines. They also have the right equipment to keep them safe while they're working. So when electric power lines are involved, it's nice to know that Encore is on our side to keep us safe too. You see, they know what they're doing. We trust them to keep us safe so we can help others. Now here's Ashley with Encore to tell you more. Thanks. We really appreciate our first responders, and we work hard to keep everyone safe around electricity. You know, electricity is powerful, and it's all around us. Just think about how much we use it every day. Electricity powers our life, it keeps our lights and TVs on, and it powers our phones, tablets, and game consoles. It also keeps us cool in the summer and warm in the winter. Today, we're going to talk about the power of electricity and how to stay safe around it. We're even going to show you what electricity looks like. First, let me tell you who we are and what we do. Encore is the largest power delivery company in Texas and the fifth largest in the United States with more than 130,000 miles of power lines. That's enough line to wrap around the entire Earth almost five times. We don't make electricity and we don't sell it. We are a delivery company and we deliver electricity to more than 3.4 million homes and businesses. Regardless of the weather, we're always out working in neighborhoods, installing or repairing equipment. It's important to never touch our equipment because it could be energized. The word energized means that electricity is flowing through equipment or power lines and could be dangerous. Now I want to show you what some of our equipment looks like. This is a utility pole. These poles support electric power lines and transformers, and you can see them just about everywhere. On top of the poles are power lines. The most important thing to know about these is that they carry live electricity, so you should never touch them. Now these power lines are way up in the air, but they could fall in a storm or after a car accident. So if you ever see one on the ground, stay away. Keep your friends away and call 911. Power lines can also be dangerous, even if they're not on the ground. For instance, if they're hanging low or if something hits them in the air like a drone or a truck or even a stick. Anything that comes in contact with the power line can also carry electricity and can be very dangerous. So never touch anything that's touching a power line. Now this is called an electric service line and it carries electricity from utility poles to homes and businesses. These lines are just like other power lines, so never touch them. Here is an electric transformer that's installed on the ground. It's just like the one you saw on the utility pole, but it supports electric power lines under the ground. If you see one, obey the warning signs and remember, it's not a toy. Always remember, electricity can be dangerous, so if you simply stay away from power lines and equipment, you can stay safe. Today's electric safety demonstration is designed to show the power and potential danger of electricity and to keep you safe. This is Omar. He's an Encore lineman, and he's going to talk about how electric linemen stay safe, both while doing this demonstration and in everyday life. Thanks, Ashley. We get a lot of training and wear special safety gear that allows us to work safely around electricity. Some of this gear includes hard hats and safety glasses. We also wear special fire-resistant shirts and pants, rubber sleeves, steel-toed boots, and gloves. Without all of these things, we couldn't be around power lines or electric equipment. But it's not just what we wear. Our safety equipment also includes our trucks. So if you see our trucks and employees out working, please remember to give us room and stay away from our equipment for your own safety. Now, Encore has a special trailer designed to show you just how powerful and dangerous electricity can be. 
Electricity used by this equipment is just a small example of what runs through the power lines we just showed you. I think you'll find this demonstration something that you've never seen before. Ashley, back to you. Thanks, Omar. First, we want to show you what electricity actually looks like with what's called an electric arc. The arc is created when something touches a power line. Wow, these electric arcs are about 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit. That's twice as hot as lava. If you notice, it's not just a little spark. It can travel several feet in an arc, so even being close to a power line can create a safety problem. Now, we all know that trees and power lines don't mix, and we're about to show you why. When tree limbs come in contact with energized power lines, they have the potential to carry electricity. So we'll show you the difference between a green and a dead limb coming in contact with a power line. First, the green limb. you'll see that the green limb eventually caused an arc to occur. Now, here's the dead limb. This dead limb arced very rapidly. Regardless of the state of the limb, any time a tree limb touches or could touch a power line, you must assume that the limb will carry an electric current, so it could be very dangerous. Now, let's take a look at ladders. Aluminum ladders are convenient. You might even have one around your house, but they also conduct electricity very easily. Let's take a look at what it might look like if a ladder were to touch a power line. Amazing! In the same way that this ladder conducts electricity and causes an electric arc, so would a chain link fence if a down power line happened to touch it. The bottom line is, you should never touch anything that's touching a power line because it could be dangerous. Now, have you ever seen cranes high up in the air and wonder what would happen if they accidentally hit a power line? Unfortunately, it can happen. Now, we don't have a real crane today, but there's a toy dump truck and it will illustrate the same thing. It might surprise you to know, but even with this kind of accident, the driver would be safe as long as they stayed in the vehicle because the rubber tires would protect them. So if a power line ever fell on your car in an accident, remember to stay inside the car, call 911, and follow the instructions of first responders. I hope you've enjoyed this demonstration, and I hope you've learned how important it is to stay safe around electricity. Now. Here's a quick quiz to review what you've learned. Stay safe.